With the Xbox Bethesda showcase this Sunday, it's going to be the big day where all the big reveals happen with Xbox related gaming news. And a lot of people have been asking me, what's going to happen with Halo Infinite? Well, I've broken it down to four main things that we could see with the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. I have a lot of research on this guy, so let's just dive right into it. So make sure you watch the whole video to understand all the details. Now, the thing that's giving me the most hope that something cool is going to happen this Sunday is this quote right here from Joseph Staten on this podcast talking about something extra that they're working on. So there's something that they're working on at 343 that we know nothing about. Just watch what Joe has to say about this. You know, running service games is challenging, especially when we're not only trying to run our free to play game, but standing up Forge and campaign co-op and some other things that we're working on um and so that this is right all there th that right there is why i keep talking about it. i know i've mentioned this quote multiple times on this channel but that just like there's something he's saying that we he knows that we do not know yet so there's something about halo infinite that's being developed right now that has not been publicly announced now what this could be we're gonna dive a little bit into that within this video if you guys want to join in on the fun with this xbox bethesda showcase i will be doing a watch party live stream on my twitch channel at 9 30 in the morning 30 minutes before the event takes place you guys want to check it out link in the description and the pinned comment down below you guys want to come in and join in on the fun when it comes to watching this xbox bethesda showcase hopefully we get some halo news man but i'm gonna get into this video why i think we will Again, that's 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my Twitch channel. Make sure you tap that follow button, guys, to know when we do go live to get that notification. And I hope to see you all there. So what I'm going to do is kind of break this down as the most likely option. And towards the end of the video, we get to the least likely, most outrageous options. I would say our most likely reveal that we'll have for this showcase, guys, is Forge. As a member of the council here for the Forge Council, Arthur Bloodshot says, As a member, I can say that there is good progress on Infinite's Forge to the point that there will be public testing for this year, which means like what we, what we got with that roadmap, right? Saying that we'll get the Forge beta flight testing kind of stuff uh, around September with the beta releasing with season three in November. And there have been a ton of leaks on Twitter about Forge here as one of these leaks right here showcasing that it's gonna be an eight player account available with Forge. We have some images of the menu itself here, so you can actually choose biomes, which we will showcase a little bit later in this video as well. And also have the undo redo button, which was confirmed by 343, so this does look very legit. Now, quick word from today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Ridge recently reached out to me to ask me if I want to check out their product, and so far I've tried it out, and honestly guys, I'm actually really enjoying this. Essentially what this is, it holds all your cards and your cash as well, but in a much smaller compact and also more secure way. Now I had that traditional chonky leather wallet for the longest period of time and honestly it felt kind of awkward to hold at some point just because it was so bulky. But once I was able to limit the size of that wallet down to just this, with all my cards and cash on hand, like I don't think I can ever go back. You know when you do that traditional check of like phone, keys, wallet. Well, so many times I reach for the wallet part and I'm like, oh gosh, did I forget it? I'm like, no, it's just Ridge. It's just that thin and compact and that easy to carry around. Ridge also has different types of styles you can have with your wallet as well and different types of products on top of that. They also have really great security along with just like ease of function and just overall just like a better product than you would normally expect out of just a simple product like a wallet or anything else. Now, the reason why I mentioned security is because the Ridge wallet comes with an RFID blocker as well to stop you from any digital pit pocketers. So if you're interested in checking out Ridge Wallet, which I highly suggest you should check them out, guys. Honestly, it's great stuff. You can use my link in the description and in the pinned comment down below to get yourself 15% off when you use the code KevinCoolX at checkout. So thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring this video. Let's get right back into the content here. And I believe this is what the biomes they were talking about right here. As you can see, fragmentation now covered in snow because of Halo Infinite's Forge. There's some crazy stuff you could do with this. From the stuff that I've talked about with some of the council members, they haven't really told me any details, but they've told me this is going to be hands down the best Forge we've ever had in the franchise. And I think that's totally something that 343 should share at Xbox Bethesda Showcase. Like show something like this, like, wow, you can pull this off within the game. That's really awesome. Do you not like snow? Well, you can have a nighttime version of bizarre which actually looks like nighttime version not like a you know darker blue version of the map like we see with most nighttime maps like the visibility actually looks decreased like it's actual nighttime it looks really amazing and i'm glad to see that some of those possibilities could be involved with forge another really important thing involved with forge is that we have these nodes which is kind of like a scripting kind of thing where basically you can kind of
of map out how you want objects to interact with each other in a certain way. This was leaked out back in October of 2021. So this is a well-known leak long, long ago. It hasn't been taken down on Twitter, so I think it's K the show here on YouTube. There's just some fun stuff of a phantom here on Bazaar along with a pelican, which would be really cool to be able to have like a flyable pelican within Forge. So the reason why I bring up Forge is the most likely reveal, because one, we haven't really seen anything in an official capacity when it comes to 343's Forge mode for Halo Infinite. I think the only thing that's been officially confirmed is that there's an undo and redo button. Other than that, they've said nothing about Forge. And as you can see by these leaks, there's a lot of stuff that they really could show off, which would get people excited to jump into back into playing Halo. Plus it could also hype up the Halo Insider program to get people more signed up. So when those flights do go live, they have more chance for people to actually jump in and play this stuff. Now our second most likely reveal for this Sunday guys would be season three information. As in what's gonna be involved with season three. We've only been a month within season two and I'm sure there's a lot of content still in the works when it comes to season three. I'm sure they have a rough idea and some of it's probably in the works right now, uh, but what can be actually shown might be a little too early. That's why I put this as my second option that we'll likely we see. As I did mention within the roadmap here that we're getting new maps, new modes, new sandbox items, which we'll get into a little bit here, new narrative events, new fractures, forge beta, as well as quality of life improvements, as well as a campaign split screen, screen co-op, which we'll get at some time during season three. My assumption that split screen co-op most likely after the winter breaks are probably around like late January, early February at the best. Here are some items I think we actually would see as part of the new sandbox items coming to the game. Now, how much we will see, what's gonna be part of it, we have absolutely no idea when it comes to this kind of stuff. But um, this is something that I saw here on Alpha Archive right here, which is a channel that kind of digs into some of the uh, back-end data mine kind of stuff that's within the game. As you can see, there's a clearly unfinished weapon right here, but we've seen this weapon before. It's actually something you can buy yourself. The purchase being through Walmart, you can literally buy this prop toy at Walmart right now. So this is definitely something that's highly likely going to be in the game here. We talked about this Armament Blaster, which is what it's labeled as. Uh, we talked about this previously, I believe before the, even the release of Halo Infinite. This was leaked out like a year or two before the release. Uh, so this is something that I think could legitimately be brought into Season 3. Uh, how it shoots, well, we have an example within this video. As you can see, it is horribly unfinished and like the way like the weapon kind of like goes off to the side while you're running is kind of funny. Uh, but once you actually start shooting, it looks like kind of a charge shot kind of thing. Uh, but I thought it would be like, since it is a Forerunner object, it would probably shoot like those uh, really firework looking kind of uh, projectiles. Uh, so that could, definitely could be it. It looks like it has kind of like a inward gravity kind of motion. So maybe kind of like how like the Void's tier worked in Halo 5, right? This weapon could possibly do this. It looks like it only has a charge option, which would be kind of like, oh man, I wish it would be like a single fire and a charge shot, kind of like a plasma pistol, but like in a forerunner form in some kind of way. It would be really interesting to have. Of course, this is all just like speculation because it's just in the game files, not finished yet, and definitely needs more time in the oven before we get a chance to play around with it. Same kind of thing with this weapon right here. This is labeled as the Proto MG. And this is like probably some form of a machine gun that we do not have within Halo Infinite right now. Sadly, the saw is missing. This looks to be kind of like a, a banished version of what the saw would be within the game. Does look awesome, does look really crazy. Now you're probably thinking like, but the animation's aren't ready, it's not even textured. Like, why would you pick this gun as a potential option to come within season three? Well, I got an answer for you on that. Because in the Halo Infinite art book, I took this picture from the book itself here, showcasing that Proto MG, which is probably not gonna be the final name of the weapon, right there as an option, as like a banished weapon kind of thing. To the right, you can see that's the shock rifle. Right above it, I don't know what that is. It looks like a gravity hammer shotgun of some sort. So it looks crazy if they could actually make that happen within the game like why not that looks insane so you can see that there is like some kind of prototyped art for this kind of weapon on the same channel here they have a full playlist of halo infinite cut content which i don't know if it's really cut content more of something they may have been playing around with that's within the game files like we have like the saw that's in here uh, we have like the halo 5 shotgun we have a bunch of really prototyped or even like early access or not even just maybe stuff that we're playing around with within the sandbox for halo infinite that probably didn't make it towards launch but that uh, definitely a lot of different things you want to check out guys on this channel my third likely option we'll see is the reveal of the tatanka mode this is my big bam home run shot right there to see like if they really want to wow people 
you reveal what Tatanka is. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a game mode that's currently being worked on by certain Infinity that's been rumored to be a Battle Royale mode. And this information comes from Jazz Corden, who's a rather credible gaming news insider who where if he actually says something that sounds like it could be true, it most likely is truth in some form or another. And he says that this is gonna be a Battle Royale mode that's been in development for over two years. This is a huge deal when it comes to Halo, consider it like something separate like Warzone from Call of Duty kind of thing, which does sound to make a bit sense when it comes to certain Infinity when they recently tweeted out saying they're doubling down on their support for Halo. And uh, the, but a lot of the requests are working within the Unreal 4 engine, which is kind of weird, not the Slipspace engine. Why is that? It'd be because it's a separate kind of entity entity of Halo within the gaming sphere of Halo Infinite, which would be kind of crazy. Goals to bring new players to Halo Infinite, targeting Fortnite, Warzone, Apex audience. Uh, he said he believes to launch season three or four. When he meant that is by saying by launching at the end of this year, which season three starts at the end of this year in early November, which lines up properly with that time frame right there. And that the Battle Royale mode actually links into Forge as well, very similar to like Fortnite's creative mode in the kind of idea. And that certain Infinity was brought in for this specific mode. Though they're not gonna ignore the rest of Halo Infinite, that's kind of what 343's job is up to right now. While certain Infinity, much like Raven Studios with Warzone, is supposed to be kind of in charge of the Battle Royale mode. And you might be thinking, why Tatanka? That's such a weird name to choose as your project name. Well, Keen-eyed viewers here said that Certain Infinity's code name for their Halo project, Tatanka. Tatanka is a wrestler that w won a 40-man Battle Royale mode. If you guys don't know, the whole Battle Royale idea really started with WWE Wrestling, and the first person to win the very first Battle Royale was Tatanka, which it's very interesting. It would make a lot of sense that like game developers would reference WWE when it comes to code names. Very, very interesting kind of stuff right there. There has been a lot of discussion about this mode, a lot of speculation, but nothing concrete has come from Certain Affinity or from 343, but this is where it would happen. It sounds like it's been in development for at least two years now at this point, so there's at least something they've put together they could showcase uh, what Tatanka really is. Now there's been leaks and rumors saying that it's like, bunch of bots, bunch of other players and stuff like that, 60 player, 100 players. Uh, details like that can get lost when it comes to leaked information. The main thing is just to kind of keep an eye on the broad spectrum of information when it comes to leaks. And the fact that it all signs keep pointing towards a Halo Battle Royale, which honestly, I think would be really amazing. A lot of the mechanics that would work for a battle royale in Halo are already in the game. Like one, obviously we have the danger zone that closes in on modes like attrition. I mean, Blast Spartan standing is essentially like battle royale light in a way right there. You have cool weapon variants if you want to power up your character. You can activate your equipment when you want to do it, like with overshield and camo, which would fit properly within a battle royale as well. You have an, a gigantic campaign area play space, which they could possibly rework in a way to make it go for a battle royale but you know we just have to wait and see what happens with that but of course if we get some actual information i'll share it with you guys here on the channel last item on the list here guys i'm gonna say this is the least likely option because the way the state of the game is and how they're focusing on fixing up the game that's why they're delaying these seasons that i do not expect to see campaign dlc but seems like things are kind of in the works. Remember that quote I told you about Joseph Staten earlier, that there's something in the works from 343 they haven't told us about yet, which could be Halo the Endless. This trademark was recently found by Microsoft way back on December 3rd. So it's gonna be some time before we actually gotta see this in action. Could this happen at the end of the year? Maybe, we don't know. This could also tie into a leak that, again, Jez Corden brought up as well. I mean, they do, he focuses a, a lot on Xbox and Microsoft news, so that's why he's kind of a good source for leaks for us guys here on this Halo channel. Uh, but he states that 343 is working on another Halo game that is not Halo Infinite, which Halo The Endless could actually be a brand new game rather than just some campaign DLC, which doesn't really fit the idea of like the whole 10 year plan with Halo Infinite. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting if they can pull something like that off, which would be great. I mean, more Halo, the better, obviously. Again, tying into what Joseph Staten was saying about how there's like something in the works behind the scenes that we do not know of yet. Now take this at absolute face value. This is a bit sketchy for me to even bother showing this on the channel here, guys. Usually when I share leaks, I try to find something a little more grounded, uh, but this is the only leaked information that I've been able to find about Halo The Endless. And this is my um, Xbox account called the Xbox Sirius XS, who has, you know, just over 8,000 followers. So this isn't like some kind of burner account willing to share information that's, you know, going to be 
taken away or have their channel taken down. But he says the Xbox game showcase shows a lot of the games that we've expected to see, which does line up with what Jez Corden said about the things like Avowed, Redfall, Diablo 4, Forza Motorsports, Contraband, Grounded, Starfield, Hellblade 2. But then they also mentioned Halo the Endless, which a teaser, which that probably would line up about a teaser time frame when it comes to that kind of stuff. Gears of War Collection, which has been rumored to have like a remastered version, much like MCC, but for Gears of War. Quake Reboot, which is like, yeah, maybe. And the Indiana Jones game, which we do know actually is in development right now. So again, like that's kind of sketchy. I mean, like it's just some guy with like a notepad, opened it up, took a screenshot and shared it on Twitter. Like that's about the credibility of that leak, but take it for face value. Like I said, there's a reason why I put this at the end of the video, because it's very unlikely that we would see anything about Halo The Endless, but it's out there. If you're new to the channel and missing any content from it recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.